So, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Myself, Dr. Pangaj Pandya, junior resident in radio department, Government Medical College, Kota. Today, my paper presentation is Rare Case Report of Tuberosis Sclerosis Complex in Sedated Patients. Mm -hmm. Abstract, tuberous sclerosis complex, also known as Bonneville disease, Pringle disease, is a heritable, relatively rare autosomal dominant neurocutaneous disorder characterized by triad of epilogia, epilepsy, low intelligence, and adenoma sedation, including involvement of multi-system brain, kidney, heart, lung, and eyes, secondary to mutation in TSC1 or TSC2 tumor suppressor gene. We described tuberous sclerosis in nine years. Child with importance of dermatological and radiological examination to find asymptomatic renal and central nervous system reason. Case report. We are reporting a case of tuberous sclerosis in children which involved multi-organ, skin, brain, kidney and heart. Comprehensive evaluation of clinical features of tuberous sclerosis in conjunction with radiological assessment is critical for diagnosis and management. Nine-year-old, 19 kg weight female child present to OPD with complaint of recurrent loss of consciousness with seizures and chronic headaches since two years. She had no medical history of note and was taking no medication, no medications before. Physically and intellectually, she was okay and her IQ test was normal. On investigation, her complete blood count, C-reactive protein level, sedimentation rate, urea create, alanine amino transfer, aspartate amino transfer levels were normal in limits. Ophthalmological examination, X-ray of hand was normal. On physical and clinical examination, she has a hyperpigmentation of skin with facial angiomas which were multiple from discrete dome-shaped red brown telangiectric papule and macules with size of 1 to 5 mm in diameter, symmetrically extending from nasolabial forehead to cheek and chin, characteristic butterfly distribution on patient's face with relatively spurring of upper lip and lateral face, which is described in image number 1. And image number 2 and 2b, she has a side green page, which is irregularly thickened, slightly elevated, soft, skin colored, late measuring, 4 cross 2.2 cm and 3.5 cross to a centimeter in the lumbosacral region. <laughs> then next, in the number three, she has a co coin tumor, periangle fibroma, is smooth from flesh skin colored ex excretion emerging from the nail fold of index and middle finger with 7 mm and 4 mm length respectively with secondary nail dystrophy, which is shown in image number three. His histo the histology of nail fold lumbosacral region face respectively were consistent with angiofibroma, periangle fibroma, and chagrin's page. Then the next one is radiological examination in B-mode ultrasonography. Uh, image number 4A and 4B, longitudinal ultrasound image of left, right and left kidney shows multiple hyperechoic masses suggestive of renal angiomyolipoma. Then uh, 2D echo examinations, image number 5 shows uh, 11 cross 15 mm size single mass originated from the anterior lateral wall of left ventricle suggestive of cardiac rhabdomyoma. On the radiological examinations in MRI, uh, image number 6A, 6B, and 6C, a T2 flare image of brain at multiple levels shows extensive cortical, subcortical, white matter regions, hyperintensity largest in right frontal lobe, consistent with cortical tuberous, with radial in linear hyperintense with white matter extending from cortex, suggestive of white matter heterotopia, along with nodularity of bilateral ventricular margin, suggestive of subependymal nodules. Then, uh, radiological examination, non contrast CT scan of head and abdomen. Uh, image number 70 is non contrast NCCT image of head, shows multiple irregular hyperdense nodules along subependymal lining of bilateral lateral ventricle, suggestive of subependymal nodules. Image number 7B shows the hyperdense patchy areas, hypodense patchy areas in H unit in 50, likely of fatty infiltration, suggestive of renal angiomyolipoma. Discussion tuberous sclerosis, known as the Pringle disease, Bonville disease, is a heritable, relatively rare autosomal dominant neurocutaneous disorder characterized by triad of epilepsy, epilepsy, low intelligence, and adenoma sedation, including the involvement of multi system, brain, kidney, heart, lung, and eyes, secondary to mutation in TSC1 and yeah, TSC2 tumor suppressor gene. Tumor suppressor gene TSC1 located on chromosome 9, which encode for the protein hamartin and TSC2 gene. On chromosome number 60 and codes for protein tuberin. Loss of the function germline mutation of this gene can lead to rapamycin, mTOR, disinhibition, and abnormal excessive proliferation of tissue resulting in hematomas. The incidence of tuberous sclerosis complex in 1 in 6,000 live births, which is equivocal occurrence in male and female. Approximately one third patient exhibit hereditary transmission, and two third of patients have sporadic disease caused by de novo mutations. The clinical walks tried seizure. Intellectual disability and facial angioma seen in less than 50% of cases. The diagnosis of tuberous sclerosis is determined by the clinical and radiological 
criteria categorized as major and minor features on basis of international tuberous sclerosis con consistent conference revived the diagnostic criteria for tuberous sclerosis complex in 2012 TSC diagnosed with define a TSC either two major features here yeah, one of one major features with two minor features probable TSC one major and one minor features and possible TSC either one features either one major feature we yeah, have two we yeah, have more minor features Inter international TSC con consensus consensus conference regarding diagnostic criteria for tuberous sclerosis complex in 2012 the major features are facial angio angiofibromas yeah, forehead plaques non traumatic umbilical periodontal fibroma, shagrid stage, cortical tuberous, subependymal nodules, cardiac, cardiac rhabdomyoma, single layer multiple, renal angiomyolipoma, hypomelanotic macules, more than three, subependymal giant cell astrocytoma, astrocytoma, lymphangio, myomatosis, and multiple renal tetinal nodular hematoma. Minor features are multiple renal cysts, non renal hematoma, hematoma, rectal pollis, bone seeds, cerebral white matter, migration lines. Concept is similar in retinal echomic patch and gingival fibroma, multiple randomly distributed pits in dental enamel. Conclusion the expectation of life for very severely affected infant is poor. Approximately 3% dies in first three first years, 28% under 10 years, and 75% before the age of 25 years. The cause of death is usually epilepsy or intracranial infection, but occasionally it can be caused by tumor, cardiac failure, massive hemorrhage from AML, and renal failure and pulmonary fibrosis. An older child, they are younger adults with epilepsy and cutaneous stigmata have erratic prognosis. To attain decent quality of life and better prognosis, each case has to be slowly studied and evaluated since durable complications may be often found at an early stage. There are my references. Thank you, sir.